All right, so let me show you what I got going on here. That's my uh, Brinkman smoker. Cost me about 60 bucks at Walmart. Pretty simple, vertical water smoker. I've made some mods to it to get it to work a little bit better, but for 60 bucks, you expect to kind of have to mod it. So here's what we got going on here. Um, put in a uh, Teltru thermometer. Just drill that out there. It's kind of nice because it's big, so I can see it from my stoop. Look out here and see exactly what the temperature is. The temperature smoke range, barbecue range, which I'm not worried about. The grill range. That's the original Brinkman thermometer. It's not bad, but it's off. So first mod I did here, the uh, pan. You got to replace this thing. The original round one's no good, so I replaced that with a uh, grill topper. Let's it breathe. I'm doing briquettes right now here because I've been smoking real slow. Not worried about the temp, worried about the long cook time. So that fits right in there on the original stock arms. You just slide that in, gives you a little bit more space and lets the charcoal breathe so you can control your fire. So that's the second thing I did. I'm going to close that up. My water pan's leaking right now. The second thing I did, you get online, you get the, uh, this is a big one, you get that green egg felt. Order that for the regular one. Gives you plenty. It's about 20 bucks. When I got it, all along here was leaking, all along these doors. You can see it's kind of coming out the back here. I didn't let it cure properly. I got to seal that. But both these doors, I sealed off completely with felt. I'll give you a peek here. And I just put that along the ridge here, all the way up, all the way across, and then wedged it in the back of the door. Got myself a pork shoulder going in here. There's your oven thermometer, which tells you exactly what's going on inside and my leaky water pan, which I always wrap in foil, that's standard. So what that does is that gives me a real nice seal. You'll notice that there's absolutely no smoke coming out the door. All my smoke is coming out the vents. Biggest thing it does is for the firebox down here, way easier to control my fire now that I've got this actually sealed and I don't have air coming in these gaps. You can tell up here when it's leaking because you can see the smoke coming out, but you can't really tell when that how much that firebox leaks or not the firebox but the bottom part leaks until you uh, until you seal it up now I got complete control over the uh, airflow with just those vents there like I said this Brinkman smoker pretty thin sheet metal so it doesn't hold a lot of you know temperature if it's real cold out here but I don't usually smoke when it's that cold anyway but for 60 bucks and about 20 bucks on top of that, maybe another 15 for that pan. You really can't beat it. A lot of space in there. Another mod I'll show you here. Drilled some extra holes so I can move these racks up and down as need be. If I'm making a, if I'm making beef jerky, what I found is I just got metal barbecue skewers and or uh, kebab skewers. Hang the meat on that. Take this rack out completely. Put it on these uh, on the rails for the rack and just drape it all the way out. And let them hang. Take out the water pan. Real easy way to make beef jerky on this guy. And then, of course, I've got the uh, Brookstone wireless thermometer plugged into the meat there. Give me my internal temperature. And that's about it. 60 bucks. I love this thing now that I've modded it. Um, eventually, I'm sure I'll upgrade to something real expensive. But me just getting into smoking, this thing's working great for me. All right. Bye, YouTube.